Well, you know, when you were little and mom would uh, put a little hydrogen peroxide on a cut, it was perfect because it produced oxygen, and that was 3% hydrogen peroxide. We have some hydrogen peroxide that just happens to be just a little bit stronger in the uh, flasks that you see here. So, what we're going to do is this. This is a, a game of timing because the last person to move out of the way loses uh, in a big way. All right, so our catalyst is going to go down inside. So inside here, we happen to have hydrogen peroxide, a little bit of soap, and we have some food coloring. So uh, we'll see if we can make some uh, some rainbow reaction. All right, you ready? Ready. All right, so here's what's going to happen. Our catalyst is going to get close here. We're going to dump in. We're going to go three, two, one, and dump it in. Ready? Three, two, one, dump it in. Good. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Ta-da! <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. The problem is we don't know how to make it stop from here. They just keep going and and going and going. It's a pretty good thing if you think about it. They just keep going and going and going. The fresh hydrogen peroxide. Exactly. It looks like Sherbert. Beautiful.